well saturday evening out here and i haven't done a video in a week and a half or so maybe just about a week um but i have an epic video coming because the sears suburban backyard tractor club founder matt has commissioned me to go pick up a tractor for him down on cape cod so chuman69 that's his youtube username if you want to go look him up uh, he started the Sears Suburban Backyard Tractor Club. He does all the t-shirts, the calendars, the stickers, the magnets, the mugs, the hot chocolate, the pens, and every other cool thing that we've had from them. And uh, right now, where's my finger? I need to go dig my trailer out over here because after the last storm, I tried to keep most of the snow out from around it, but I have to shovel all the snow off of the trailer so I can get it cleaned off so I can throw his tractor on it. I was going to try to see if I could stuff a tractor in the bed of my truck without using the trailer. I might still try that, but I don't know if it's going to fit. I'm going to have to measure it up. So let me go get to it. the whole video taping the time i was digging out the trailer and when i was hooking it up but for some reason my camera shut off so i missed the hooking it up part which is fine because it took me three tries i mean i nailed it on the first try but trailer's hooked up ready to go i may take it for a spin around the block to get some of the loose snow off of this so it's not falling off on the highway tomorrow but then again i might not truck's ready to rock and roll so we're gonna go get us a tractor tomorrow. I just gotta get some straps and stuff out of the garage, make sure I'm ready to go. We're gonna have some fun.
here's your tractor 1967 in all its glory i took the horn button off so i won't lose it on the ride home it's in pretty good shape man gonna need a drive belt um tail light's not quite the right one but it's in good shape it's definitely been repainted it was probably done i don't know 70s or 80s but it was done pretty well it looks like it might be automotive paint probably enamel has a couple of oil leaks mainly because it has the um has a mechanical pump on the engine which means the engine might be from a 1969 this is not a points motor so some point in time the engine was probably swapped out but it runs really good has a new replacement to comes a carb on it so there she is you're gonna be happy with it i'll tinker on it get it to start up a little bit easier you had to put a little starting fluid in it because it's cold outside but could just need an oil change and stuff but she's a nice one see you soon long journey some nice flurries falling from the sky and this gem made it all the way from Cape Cod back to my house for our fearless leader Matt Chuman 69 this is your 1967 Sears Super 12 I did some quick looking over it it's um it's got an oil leak mainly because it has the um, mechanical fuel pump down here, right there, like the old Chevys that runs off of the cam or the crank or something. So I think this motor's out of a 69. Um, it could be the original one, but I've never seen one of those pumps on a 67. Most of the 67s were still points motors. This is not a points, this is an SSI and it has that mechanical pump. So I think this motor's a 69. Uh, it has a horn in there, which is not hooked up right now. has a new battery, adjustable hubs. They have a like big clamp on the inside of them to hold them from going too far in. So on both sides, it has those big clamps in there right in here, holding them from sliding in. has a nice heavy-duty ball hitch on it, which... Um, 
I'll have to ask Matt if he wants me to take it off or not. Not the original tail light, but I have an original tail light that I'll put back on this. And that's not the original seat from this tractor, but I think it's an original sear seat, like from a 76 or a 77. Oh, I have the horn button. I took it off so I wouldn't lose it when I was driving home. But really nice 67 horn button. You can still see sears in there. Um, so there's some weird stuff with the electrical on this. This is the starter button. This switch does nothing. There's another button down here that I think used to go to the horn, but it doesn't work. Um, has the PTO cover on it. Has the side grill piece that's always missing. Has the other side belt guard piece. Looks like uh, either the head was leaking oil and they replaced the head gasket because it has some new, new bolts on the head. So somebody could have replaced the head gasket, but I kind of doubt it because there's a ton of oil up under there. Uh, it almost looks like the spark plug's not screwed all the way in, so I'll have to check that. Somebody trimmed the air cleaner to clear the spark plug wire. It's not the right muffler, but I have the right one, so I'm going to see if Matt wants it. If he does, I'll put that on. Um, the air cleaner housing has been hacked up a little bit because it has a replacement carburetor on it and it doesn't quite fit perfectly but it runs really good so running better is better than having a perfect air cleaner but again there's some things i can do to make that better i can either put an air cleaner on the front here or replace all that stuff with better stuff or put a spacer on it to get the carburetor out a little bit more to get everything to line up nothing really too major it looks nice the wiring on it's really bad it's been hacked and bashed by several people. Um, yeah. When I see this stuff, it makes me want to cut every stitch of wiring out of a tractor and fix it because that is just really bad. So it's going to get some, uh, some loving. I'm going to pull most of the wiring out, rewire it. The battery's not charging right now, but that's probably because all the other crap that's going on with the wiring... It's really not in bad shape. It's been repainted. I would say it was probably painted in the 70s or 80s. And it looks like it might have been repainted twice. It was either repainted twice or it was primed white. Or the whole thing was painted white and then the whole thing was painted blue. Um, but it looks like enamel, probably auto paint. It's not a bad paint job. Um, but again, Matt, if you want to repaint it, it's up to you later on. The engine does run really good. It needs a drive belt. You can see how cracked it is. But I'll get all that stuff fixed up. By the time you get out here to pick this thing up, it's going to be like a champ. So there you go, Matt. 1967 Super 12. The good thing is I think this was stored in a garage its whole life. Because if these are off of a 67, the 67 usually the Super 12 fades off of these really bad. So if this... If these are original, if they're not off of 68, this thing was stored inside its whole life. And I mean, I kind of think it might have been based on how clean the steering wheel is and how nice the horn button is and everything, unless it was changed. But you don't even have a lot of fading on the wood grain, a little bit on the bottom, but, you know, people scuff their feet on that. So it's a 917, I think it's a 25310, and the serial number is 1125. So... Overall, really a nice machine. So it was an epic trip. It was about, I don't know, 260 or 280 miles round trip. Uh, I took my family with me. We went out to dinner, had a nice dinner at a seafood place down in Dennis, Mass. We tried to go to a pirate museum, but they closed before we got there. Um, and then we went to um, Mayflower Beach, which I thought was where the Mayflower landed. I was never really that great at history, but obviously the Mayflower landed in Plymouth at Plymouth Rock, which I did drive by on the way home, but we didn't stop. But Mayflower Beach was awesome. We went out and picked up some rocks off the beach, saw the sunset. It was just an epic trip. I love doing these road trips. And there's not a lot of people that I would go that far out of my way to go get a tractor for, but Matt, our fearless leader, from Sears Suburban Backyard Tractor Club. 
you know you were one of the guys that i used to watch most on youtube way back when i started collecting tractors true man 69 he had all the videos he had all the cool tractors and him and his buddies just hanging out in the garage drinking beer smoking cigars and working on tractors and buying new old stock tecumsehs and stuff like that that's what kept me going on this stuff so i still go back and watch a lot of those old videos and this is kind of in the same spirit as those old videos just getting out and buying a cool tractor it's going to get put in my garage right now hopefully i can make it in because my driveway is all icy but put this thing in my garage and there you go matt whenever you want to come get it i'll have it It's going to sit for a while. It runs good. It's in my garage. Right now in a place of honor, it's taken up the whole stall where either my Bel Air usually sits or where my wife's car has been for most of the bad weather this winter. But there you go. I'm pretty happy to take this one home for you, Matt. Now I can share on the epic adventures of the good old days of Chewman 69 and the Sears Suburban Backyard Tractor Club. 
as I'm now contributing to the collection. And even though we're, I don't know how many miles apart, Michigan to Massachusetts, but it's going to have a good home eventually. I'm going to do some uh, cool stuff to it. By the time you get it, it's going to look a lot nicer than it does now. It'll run and start and drive even better than it does now. So stay tuned. Cranky Motorsports and SSBTC out.